In this video, I'm going to show you how to format your figure captions and table captions and then update the list of figures for list of tables. Um, now, before we begin, I want to mention that the method I'm showing you requires that you're using our thesis dissertation template. So please go to our thesis dissertation page and download the Microsoft Word version <clears throat> of the thesis template. And then you'll build your document within our existing template. <clears throat> now, the goal ultimately is to, to set this up so that we can update the list of figures and the list of tables very quickly. And the function for this is very similar to what you might have seen in our video on headings. If you right click on the list of figures, you can click Update Field. Um, or you can press F9 once you've highlighted the field. So highlight it and then push F9. And that also brings up the update function. Now let's jump right in and look at a couple examples of, of how to create a, a figure caption. If you want Word, Microsoft Word to pick up the figure and table captions such that they can be automatically updated into the list of figures and list of tables, you need to use the following method. Um, first, you need to import your images into the document. So if you were starting from scratch, you could go to insert and then picture and if you had a sample of a picture, you could click on it and insert it, and then you can resize it. So here's an example of an image that's already here. You can quickly resize it um, just using the corner tabs. You could change its orientation. You could change its layout, so on and so forth. But for most intents and purposes, you're simply going to insert an image, center it, and then adjust the sizing uh, to make it the appropriate size. Now. In this case, there's already a caption here, so let me just show you from scratch how you create one. Um, the first thing to do is to go to the References tab, and you can then click Insert Caption. And if you have a different version of Word, this might look different, but it's the same function. There's a References and then an Insert Caption option. So if you insert Caption, it pulls up this little window. You can choose which type of caption it is, if it's a figure or a table. You do not need to use the equation captions, even if you have equations, you can do those manually. I'll show you that in a different video. Um, but you choose between figure and caption. So in this case, excuse me, between figure and table. We're using figures here. Um, and also be aware that you can choose the numbering system. You can either number them sequentially through the entire text, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, through the entire text, or you can include the chapter number and we prefer to use a period with that. So it'd be uh, figure 1.1, figure 1.2, and then in chapter two, it would be figure 2.1, figure 2.2. And the template is set up such that you can do this uh, uh, automatically. You can choose whichever option you want, whether you want to choose the chapter number or not. Either option should work within the template. So let's say I want to do including the chapter number. I'll push OK. And now you can see the sample caption that's coming up will say figure 1.1. So I say, that's great. Let's push OK. Two things to notice. One is it automatically produces this section uh, in italics. And it remains in italics for whatever you might type after that. Um, given the way that we're asking you to format the document, it's preferred that you actually switch the caption text so that it's not italicized. So in this case, you could simply place the cursor here, uh, change italics. I did it using Control and I. You could also do it under the Home tab right here. Um, and then I'm going to push period to separate it. And now I can type in the caption. So your caption text would go here. And now you can see the figure number is italicized, but the caption text is not italicized. Um, the other thing to notice right off the bat is right when I inserted that figure, Microsoft Word knew to update the subsequent figure numbers. So it, it knew that this one now is pushed down from 1.1 to 1.2. And that's a very useful and important function. If you do the captions this way, the numbering will be dealt with automatically. So even if you insert a caption earlier in the document, it will automatically update the caption numbers later in the document. Um, now, you can see here it has figure 1.1. We're in the middle of chapter 1. 
if you were to go to chapter two, uh, let's see, yeah, it automatically changed the uh, captions here to the appropriate chapter number, cha figure 2.1, so on and so forth. So again, the simple way to do it is references, insert caption, choose the caption type, figure or table, and then choose the numbering option you want if you decide you want to use this uh, chapter-based numbering, for instance. Now, if you jump down, jump back up to the uh, list of figures, you can right-click, click Update Field, and then update the entire table. And again, you can also do uh, F9 to bring up Update Field. And then when we update the entire table, it now incorporates our new caption and it updates the numbering for the subsequent captions. So it has figure 1.1, figure 1.2, 2.1, 3.1, 4.1. All right, so that's the simple explanation of how to do figure captions. Now, there's some other variations possible. For instance, you could center all of your captions if you prefer the appearance of that. That's fine as long as you do it consistently. Um, the style we're showing comes from APA format, and it's the, the style that our template shows. Um, but you could do it slightly differently. If you used bold instead of italics, or if you used uh, centered instead of left-oriented, that's fine as long as it's consistent. Now I want to move on to tables and show you a couple of uh, key things with tables. First, look at the caption style that we have in the template. This is from APA format as well, and it's different than the uh, figure format. First of all, the table captions need to go above the table, not below the table, but above. Um, second, the APA style, which I'll show you how to, how to orient and how to format, um, is split across two lines. The first line consists of the table number. The second line consists of the full uh, table caption. And notice that the italicization is reversed from what we just saw. So the table number is not italicized, and then the caption text actually is italicized. And again, this comes from APA format. Uh, I'll show you how to make it look like this, and I'll also show you how to do a different style if, if you'd like to do that. Um, but the point in any case is that the table caption does need to be above the table. Okay, so for an example, let me just move this down here and I'll, I'll just copy this existing table. And let's say you want to add another table caption. Um, before I do that, let me just mention if you need to add a table of this type, you can do that also under insert. There should be an option for table and you can choose the size of the table and then add uh, rows or columns as needed. So you can certainly create a table like this very easily within Microsoft Word. And of course, some students will also be importing uh, data tables from other programs. Um, either way is fine, as long as the end product looks clean and readable. So to add the table caption, you can imagine we do the same thing as we did with a figure caption. You go to References, Insert Caption. Now instead of a figure, we're going to choose to label it as a table. And these are set at present to be in sequential ordering, uh, one, two, three, four, five, through the entire document. If you're using chapter-based for figures, you should also use chapter-based for tables. And the same goes if you use uh, sequential. So in other words, both figures and tables should use the same numbering style or type. Now, in this case, then I'll, I'll go ahead and do uh, chapter-based. And so it actually went back and made this one table 2.1 and knows that this one's 2.2. Now notice, even when you do a table caption, the, the default setting is that it comes out italicized. Um, it also comes out on one line. And the problem that some students might have is if you just push enter and go to the next line, type in your caption, and then you go back up to the list of tables and update it, you might find that this happens. You get uh, the table number to appear, but the caption on the second line does not appear. And so the way to do it, if you want to have your table caption split across two lines, the way to do it is this. You bring the caption up onto the same line as the table number. So you just go to the line of the caption, push backspace, bring it up on the same line. Now you push not enter, but shift, and then enter. So hold shift down and press enter. Now the effect looks exactly the same, 
But the difference is Microsoft Word now knows that those two lines are linked more closely. Um, if you now go back up to the list of tables oops, and update the field, you'll see that the caption pops up as well. So again, if you want to split it across two lines, bring your caption up to the same line, then push Shift and Enter. Um, and then, of course, you want to make sure the formatting of the, the font is matching throughout. So again, APA style uses this, not italicized table number, but italicized table caption. Um, it would also be perfectly permissible, I want to mention, to do something like this for your table caption. Insert caption, table, and then do it exactly the same way as the figure caption, but the difference being that it's above rather than below. So if you were to then do this, um, that would be fine as long as you do it consistently like that throughout the document. So again, the main point for the caption style is consistency uh, throughout the document. Now, there are two other small caveats, two other small things that come up with tables and then with figure captions more, more generally. Um, the first thing is this. If you find that you need to split a table across multiple pages, you can't just leave it at that. You can't just have it split and say that's good enough. And instead, what you have to do is you actually have to split the table into two different tables and then add the caption um, on the second page manually. And I'll show you what I mean by all of that. So first, just for consistency, I'll just put this into um, the APA style format. So it would look like this. And now let's say you're left with this. So because of the spacing, let's imagine you filled up the page and you wanted, uh, you needed rather that part of the table to go onto the next page. Now the first thing you can do is split the table. And what you want to do is you actually want to split the table such that it becomes two tables. And of course, this table will be the first table, and then what's on the second page will be its own new table. And the way you do that is you click on the line you want to split. You then see the table tools um, menu come up, and you click on layout. And then you can click split table. And what it does is it splits the table um, just above the row that you're in by default. So now we actually have two separate tables and you can actually put the cursor between them and type. And so what you would do is you'd have a separate caption here that indicates that you're continuing the previous table. So you just type this in, table two, um, and you can simply put the caption continued or C-O-N-T period for abbreviation, italicized to match the style. And this now tells the reader very clearly that this is part of the same table. Uh, it helps, especially if it's a very big table and it's hard to tell at first if it's the same or if it's uh, a new table without a, a proper caption. So again, you, you split the table first and then you actually write in a manual caption. Now I say manual caption because you would not want to do references insert caption. If you did that, it would add uh, a new numbering and we don't actually want that. We want it to be clear that this is part of the same table caption. So write that in manually. Now, if you want to be really courteous, if it's, especially if it's a big table and it covers much of two pages, you might want to include the first row, uh, you know, with all the headings again at the top. That's at your discretion, but it might be useful, especially if the, the table is quite complex. The one remaining thing I wanted to show you is a, a problem that can come up with the chapter-based numbering. So if you work with the template as it is built and you simply replace the text with your text, then the headings should be done correctly and you shouldn't have this problem. But this is something that comes up once in a while and I'll show you what it would look like. Let's pretend you wanted to move, for whatever reason, this chapter heading to the top of the next page and you space it down like I just did. And then let's say you went ahead and tried to insert a figure caption. And we expect it to say figure 3.1. But there's a problem. Uh, you can see already the numbering doesn't look right. It says figure 25.1, which implies that you're in chapter 25. 